here in the last uh, three months with the INM movement across uh, the world, uh, the, edu- uh, the uh, learning curve has, you know, really sped up. So a lot of people are, have, have come to, you know, the idea of, okay, I understand, I have a way better understanding of what has happened to my culture and how it is being affected by colonialism. Right. And, and then, you know, so the solutions will come here. You know, I'm seeing, a, you know, a lot more uh, brighter pictures on the horizon. It's just us enacting it, going after it properly. Good. Okay. And would, uh, I mean, I know that Idle No More is, it, it is more than just this business of um, Aboriginal rights, which are seriously affected by that omnibus bill, but it is actually, um, it, it's talking uh protection for all of Canadians because every single Canadian, no matter what race, creed, uh, color, whatever, needs water to drink. And that's one of the most serious things. Yeah, where we, you know, the the Idle No More movement is for everybody. If you really, you know, grasp and understand what the historical account is and how it applies to to today and the recognition of water, because this country was formed on water, you know, our highways were water, our commerce was water. Mm-hmm. Even fueling the oil industry, it's water. But yes. We all have to sustain and survive with water. We have to do that sustainably, and it's not really being approached that way by Alberta or the Fed, uh, convincingly. And, you know, so the, every Joe Blow Canadian, if you're out there listening, take a really good look at how you can be a, a, a help to changing what's going on, because if we don't change it, we're really going to be in a rough situation down the road here. Yes, and every one of us, know, like I say, it doesn't matter what your background is, every one of us is going to suffer when when there's no water to drink. Yeah. But, um, all right. Um, I so, want to go here, uh, uh, Figgy, but um, there's two things that are coming up here. Okay. Uh, Redford is going to be at the University of Alberta, right, giving an, her nice big uh, speech. Okay. And uh, people can show up outside the building and uh, voice your concerns, I'm sure. Okay. You know, in a public demonstration of, uh, you know, nonviolence, but getting a message across. Right. Okay. Secondly, uh, I'm going to have a meeting down at the Cyber Cafe uh, on Sunday at 1 o'clock, 1 p.m., uh, to discuss uh, ways of um, approaching the Walter Dale uh, Bridge uh, situation regarding this burial ground down here in the middle of Edmonton, Alberta. Right. Okay. And so um, that's at the Cyber Cafe at 1 p.m. this Sunday? Yeah. Okay, and that's discussing the situation of uh, the burial grounds at Walterdale Bridge and that yeah, whole... Yeah, we've been, we've been in that burial site process for uh, 14 years now, and uh, we haven't broken any laws, and we haven't got arrested, and we didn't uh, cause any major mayhem. Uh, but, and we're going to do the same thing for what we're going to do through the spring and summer here to address this issue. Right. Yeah. Um, and, you know, I think that if, um, if everybody looks back in history, they will see that uh, there are many tremendous First Nations, in particular uh, people, that, leaders that were um, totally nonviolent, that believed, I mean, I'm thinking of Chief Joseph, but there were many, many others who, who were very eloquent about peace, and not only did they talk the talk, but they really walked the walk. Yeah, exactly. And, you know, and that's, that's the other thing about I Don't Know More. We, you know, they've been awesome in, in sending a message to the world, and we're not burning down, you know, right. <laughs> all those things. We're, we're making our message clear, and we're being, we're being heard, and that's the important part. Exactly. And, and it's, um, it's open to everybody, and so okay. anybody who feels that they want to help in some small way, yep. join uh, join up with the Idol No More just to find out what's going on and how you can help, even if you're just offering water to people on a walk or... Exactly. Okay. All right, Biggie, you have a beautiful day and weekend, and uh, we'll talk again. Thank you so much for calling, Sutana. All right. Bye-bye. Bye now. Um, wonderful. Okay, uh, listeners, uh, Sutana, who has often been on Moccasin Telegraph, um talking about the I Don't Know More movement and the homelessness issues, the, uh, the issues that uh, particularly the Aboriginal homeless face, um, and also to let you know that 
uh, it, that's very interesting. I'm glad that he mentioned the Walterdale Bridge air, um, situation because I was under the false impression that that had all been decided, that um, that the land indeed was recognized as sacred within the Aboriginal community and that the city um, was in agreement that it would be um, that would be respected, honoured, and uh, and um, allowed the um, Aboriginal community to uh, take over care of that land um, to ensure respect for uh, their ancestors. Uh,